Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is SDK Pop-Tarts here with my first ever tutorial. And since I've recently been playing with 3ds Max 9 quite a lot lately, so I've decided to make a 3D Spartan tutorial since I recently figured out how, with my own kind of twist on the way, because I did not like the way that I kind of learned it by. It was extremely complicated, and I screwed up on it a lot, and I found my own much easier way to do it, and so I thought I would share it with all you guys. So, to start off, I know where all of you have seen 3 Spartans most famously. I would say you're in Trinity, edited by Zola, and the 3D work amazingly done by Nitrogen, and also in, I believe, Gunna's final montage, edited by King, and the 3D work by Ether. So, um, let's get started here. As you can see, we're in 3D's Max 9, blah blah blah, same general layout as it is when you open. I haven't changed anything. I, if you have, sorry if you can't find some certain stuff. So let's get started. Now, to start off, I just want to say that all of the files I'm going to use, I can just supply to you over AIM. It's a messenger, just SDK pop tarts, no spaces, no numbers, no nothing, just easy. You know, just I'm on there pretty much all the time after school, weekends, whatever. You know. So let's get started. Go to File, go Import. Uh, you can see here we have our object files. So now we can just in here. We have wavefront object selected. So, now let's select arm space 0.5. Now you want to make sure you use the 0.5 because they're much high quality, uh, higher quality, and it's just better looking overall. It's much more detailed from the start, it just looks better. Better for you. Now you don't want normal selected, so that's bad. Makes for max crash, we don't want it. Oh, import, okay. Now right off the start, delete the emblems. They're a pain, I don't want them, you don't want them either really. Okay, so now we'll go import. Put in the body base 0.5, of course. Import. Okay. And just so you know, don't think I'm cheating you or anything. This is how we all do it. Like, as in, like, the VG and Nitrogen eat them. This is how they've all done it, so I do it too. Don't think I'm cheating you or anything, or I'm cheating, really. So, yeah. Basically, where we got these files, they're extracted from main menu.map. Which, if you're a modder, you probably know about this. You can get it off of the disk, all that crap. That's a whole nother deal, though. I just downloaded it, it's easier. Whatever, you know. Okay, so. Now we have our main Spartan, just general outline. He's, okay, he's good, he's chilling, you know. Now we go right click and select attach. Now just select all of the objects visor, helmet, legs, body, everything. And you'll see it all turns to one color. It doesn't really matter what it changes to. It's just whatever Max is in the mood for, I guess. I really don't know why it changes to colors, honestly. So anyway. Now I'm going to go select the faces first. This red triangle. Oh, by the way, when you select attach, this modifier tab will open up. Edit will mesh. It's all good. So now we select the faces. Now we're going to highlight all of them. Now let's scroll down. Scroll down. Let's find this. What am I looking for? Okay, surface properties where it says normals, select unify. And that fixes any kind of holes that are in there. And now let's scroll back up and select the vertexes, vertices, whatever it is, I honestly don't know. And select them all. And scroll back down a bit. Find what am I looking for? Next here where it says weld and selected. Put point oh one zero one and put selected. Okay. Exit out of the modifiers. Let's just do this really quick. You can see he's looking okay. He's kind of rough, smoothish more so. But okay, so actually we are pretty much done in 3D's Max for now. Um, let's just save this. Let me make a stupid noise. Okay, let's just save this as 3D Spartan to it. Blah blah blah. Okay, well I'm going to see you in Adobe After Effects next, where I modify the textures, which I will also supply to you. I'll see you there. Hey, welcome back everyone. Uh, this is SDK Pop-Tarts here with my first tutorial on making a 3D Spartan. We are in After Effects now. I was recently in Photoshop, and all I did there, if any of you know how to do this, even if, if you don't have Photoshop, I'll supply this file to you so you don't have to go download trial, all that crap, whatever you want to do. Basically what I did, I went to the channels options, I removed the RGB channels, and I only kept an alpha channel, and I saved the PSD file. And that's where we are now, in After Effects. So, 
let's import this into a new comp, and let's get started from here. What the? Wait, hold on a second. Let's search this out. What is going on? Okay. Wait a minute. Oh crap. Sorry about that. It's just it wants to be gay to me. New comp. New settings. Wow. What's wrong with this? Oh, there we go. Fit up to 100%. That's why. <laughs> Stupid me. Why can I see this for part? Okay. Whoa. Too much. As you'll see here, you can kind of recognize this. What does this look like to you? To me, it looks like a visor. Guess what? It is. So, you're going to take the pen tool. We just zoomed in on a bit. Basically, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to draw a mask around it. Just remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. No mask ever does. It's a bunch of crap if you think you do. Get that out of your head. You don't. Okay? Just as long as you're pretty exact-ish. For other certain other things like masking scopes and all that stuff. Then I guess you can be a little more exact and you can always feather. No, it's always good. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Can't really see what I'm doing here. Let's correct this one. Okay. Just keep going around. Draw your basic outline. I'll try to keep you entertained as best as I can. I'm sorry if I don't. Just one more. That one was crap. Let's delete that. Completely off. I'm going against what I just said of making it not perfect. <laughs> I'm such a hypocrite. No hooray. If you call me a hypocrite, I'll kill you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so. Let's just draw on the mask. I'll zoom a little bit so I can see more. Zoom in down here. Take the pencil again, draw on here. That one wasn't exactly good. I should have drawn one more right on this line. More up. I hate doing this on a laptop. I really don't recommend this if you have a laptop like I am on right now, like an idiot. I should have done this on my main computer. Whatever, too late now. It doesn't really matter to me. But I really recommend doing the, any masking on a normal mouse. It's just much easier. These stupid little ball things. Ah, crap me. Or if you have one of those things where you have to like keep sliding your finger across and you're just in hell. But no, I have one of those little balls. <laughs> that sounds so homosexual. Okay, so... Let's just zoom in again. Just again to see where I'm doing more, so... Yeah, let's just connect it. Get it faster. And fit up to 100%. Now you'll see, we can't see anything. No big deal. Just copy and paste that. Go into the mask, just delete it. Great, now we can see everything. So, we're going to go to a. Let's have the um, visor layer selected. Go to CC toner under the color correction. I go to the shadows. And I'm just gonna go for an orange, kinda darkish, bright, still. Kinda like that. That's actually pretty good. I like that on my first try. And you wanna keep the midtones brown, that's actually really good. Because that's kind of what's keeping the color right here on the outer edge right there. That's actually what this part is. That's kind of convenient. I think so anyway. It kind of looks like that to me. If it doesn't to you, well, too bad, I guess. It's my tutorial, not yours. Blech. Okay, so we're going to take the main layer. And we're going to want to just start masking again. Okay. Well, as you can see here, I'm going to start drawing another mask. So this is why. So you'll see right here, 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 maybe a little here. I think here too. You can see these kind of like white spots as you can see, right? Well, in Max you'll see those when you apply the texture that it will seem to apply. Uh, you'll see those on the legs and arms. It looks really bad. So let's get rid of that, you know? Why not? Make it look better. So, I'm gonna just draw a general mask. This, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna be a hypocrite because I will try to make it perfect. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, but it's fun sometimes. Oh, that was really bad, though. You and you guys can recognize that one. That one was really shitty. Let's just keep going. Keep masking. Masking around. Going around town. I'm SpongeBob SquarePants. Don't ask me how I know that. God damn, I used to watch that show too many times. Too many much. Okay, same thing kind of happens with that, you know. Blah, blah, blah. Do the same thing. Control V. Same deal. Eat the mask. Great. Okay, so now let's move it up to 100%. Take that off. And 
select. Oh, don't want that. Main tool. As you can see there, not selected. Okay, so, you know, back into the color correction. Actually, wait, I'm stupid, I forgot something. Oops. Forgot to do the main texture. Wow. This is the main texture. Actually, yeah, let's, you need this on the bottom. Keep the main texture that we're gonna have, uh, like, pretty much everything else, all this gray. Make sure you have this on the bottom, just so this whole masking on the white part works. Always have to have that on the bottom, just works better, I think, out. So we're gonna go, just apply CC toner again. We're gonna go into the midtones, make sure you have to do this in midtones. Just so you keep the black parts. <coughs> uh, sorry about that, I'm just coming off my cough, you know. Okay. Ugh. And you kind of want to play kind of a bright yellow. And you'll see it's kind of like an olive looking color. Sort of like the campaign. That is what I'm going for right now. So, let's keep adjusting. And something we like. I like that. That looks good, I think. So, what are we going to do now? Let's actually take a screenshot of this. You know, just print screen. I have paint ready. Let's control P into, control P, control v into that. Okay. Just, this is just so we can remember the settings I use right here. It's just easier to remember. I don't have to go back and forth and stuff like that. Just within After Effects, at least. So, let's take this layer, which is the white part. Did I apply CC toner? No, I did not. Apply the CC toner. And in here, let's actually change this on the highlights. I'm going to apply this. 6185, 73. almost the same with the hell I'm perfectionist sometimes. Twenty-eight, great. Okay. As you will see, it's kind of taken away. Let me make it a little bit darker, actually. So it won't come out exactly the same way. So I'm playing around with it. Trust me, you won't notice it in the same way as you would have the white. It definitely blends in a lot more. Let's maybe do this. That actually does not at all. Trust me, it'll blend a lot better even if you see it standing out now. It'll look unbelievably better. Just trust me. The main thing is right now, you kind of don't see much noise. That's just the thing there is. There is not much texture on these white parts for whatever reason. I don't know why. It's just the way it is, I guess. So that's why it kind of sticks out more than everything else is, because it doesn't have any kind of roughness on it, you know? So let's go. Here's one over here. So I'm just going to kind of do this, you know? I'm not going to make you sit through this, you know? So here we go. Okay, welcome back to Adobe After Effects in part 3 of my Brady Spartan tutorial. As you can see here, well, everything, I've now just gone ahead, I've finished off all the other white spots. And we're pretty much done in After Effects for the most part. So what we're going to just go ahead and do now, we're going to take the comp settings, just to make my life easier. We're going to set this to... Just like five frames. That's all you really need. Because we're just going to end up needing one picture of this, so, yeah, you know, just five frames is good. So, now we're just going to go. I'll just export. Let's export as an image sequence. Just like to BMP, that's very important. Just go 30, doesn't really matter. It's a standard, you know. And let's export this into. Where's my main folder of this stuff? Respawn tutorials, texture files, and then come on, campaign master chief bitmap. Save. Great. And now that that's good. And I will see you back in 3D's Max, and we will begin to texturize. Is that even a word? I don't know. <laughs> Texturize the Spartan. I'll see you there. Hey guys, welcome back to 3D's Max. In part, what is this? Part, maybe part 2, part 3? We'll see how that comes out anyway. Whichever part it is of the 3D Spartan tutorial. And we are going to start to texturize our Spartan. 
make him look all nice and sexy and whatnot. Yeah, so, okay, so, just hit M, it'll bring out the maps. This is the material editor, standard, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now I have the first one selected. Now click this little box right here. This will set a, um, diffuse color. Now I'm in here, I might as well just do it in here. <laughs> Whatever, the same thing would have come up. Okay, you select a bitmap image. Now, let's go to the tutorial files, texture files, and you'll see it created a few. It doesn't really matter. You can use whichever one you want. They're all the same. Okay, I just select either, or I'm just like forward to the hell of it. Okay, now, that's imported. Now, just check this little kind of QB checker box thing, and then drag it, and hey, it looks almost done already. Wasn't that great? Just like that. Now, just do a quick render. He's looking pretty good, you know. It's pretty good. Better start. Oh, too much. Okay. You know, he's looking good. He's chilling. You can see right here, here, and a little bit here, I think, as well. You can see where we did that little adjustment with the masking. There's probably somewhere on the other side as well. I'm not going to go into that, though. Okay, now hit that. Bring you back up to the main menu. Now select a bump map and set the number to 500 and we'll go set a bitmap and in here I'm supplying something called Master Chief Pump yeah leave me alone I get it God. okay Master Chief Pump dot BMP open that and now when you look in here let's just make sure you got that right okay good look in here you'll see much more definition as you can see and we are pretty much done with the making a 3D Spartan. That's about it, really, guys. Um, otherwise, if you have a knowledge of keyframes, you can go into all that stuff. But as you can see, we have our little Spartan. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, it's my first one. Please leave good feedback. And be honest. But not too much of an asshole or anything like that. This is my first tutorial ever. So, yeah. Enjoy this, guys. I hope you like my method. Just trust me when I say this is a whole lot easier than all the other methods I've seen in the past, which I absolutely hated, and that's why I made this one. So, I hope you enjoy it, use it well, and please, hey, if you want, give me credit in your montage, too, if you use this tutorial. I would love that. It makes me feel special. You know, I'm, um, you know you're not exactly paying for this, so, you know, little things like that, they make me feel special. So, you know, this is SCK Pop Church, and have a good day, guys.